So, chapter of the year is crazy. What does Rob hate more, Zoro or the Akatsuki? I think he hates Zoro more. Yeah, it makes you think of who else might be of the D without knowing. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's why I think Nico Robin is really of the D. Alabaster Arc, all that. So, alright. Nice little cover here. No rain, no rainbow. I actually like that quote. That's actually pretty interesting. No rain. You can't get the rainbow without rain, right? So you can't have shine without... Yeah. Yeah, I get the point. Okay. And so the curtains drew closed on the reverie. Before the news of King Cobra murder, Cobra's murder came to light. Okay. This is Princess Vivi of Arabasta. Has anyone seen her? Where is the king? Has his condition worsened? All the while, a number of stowaways held their breath. Momolombo! I actually really like that name. Momolombo! Thank you for subscribing. All the while, a number of stowaways held their breath as they attempted to escape on various royal vessels. Hey, whose ship is this? The Aegis King, the Aegis Kingdoms. So this is when Vivi. So I, I better see like Vivi a little bit more worried than she was last chapter, cause how she was, how she escaped was kind of some bull. We're on Aegis ship, Morgans. Gotcha. We'll fly our headquarters over and pretend to look for a scoop. Use that chance to hop aboard and don't get yourself caught before then. I owe you one. You got that right. A king somehow became the subject of a manhunt. This is big news. I can't wait to hear all about it. So, what exactly did you see in there, Wapo? Like I tell you, leave me alone and go back to your own ship. I can't. CP0 is no joke. Now that they're after me, it won't matter how much everyone tries to help. Those agents won't, re won't rest till I'm back in their custody. So, Wapo is shook out his mind right now. Now let me borrow your transponder snow. Did I even see the name of this chapter? Oh shit. The five elder planets? What the fuck? I kinda we were kinda like I remember when they first said that uh I think it was Neptune or Jupiter was going to Egghead. We was talk I heard like theories about like the planets and how it relates to everything, so maybe that's what they're talking about. Um Now let me borrow your transponder snail. I need to talk to my father as soon as possible. Okay. He's a total worry wart. Anything but that. Get lost already. What's wrong with you? Okay, so Vivi's trying to message her father. So that goes against my whole like theory. Cause I'm like, how the hell does she run away, you know, without her father? That's kind of, doesn't really seem right, right? Like it seems kind of like you abandon your father to get away. Although she, I guess she was kidnapped, but like still you wouldn't, you know, whatever. So she she knows nothing of the plan that he had about going to speak with the elders. Nothing. She's in the dark, just like everybody else was. Yeah. Um. CP Zero is going around looking for Sabo and Vivi. Okay, so everybody's in these ships. We have Bonnie, Tajin Kingdom ship, and then we have Sabo and Lelouja's Kingdom ship. Okay, if I can just make it to Lelouja, I know I can figure something out. My boy is hurting right now, though. Bloodied. I'm counting on you, Sabo kun. You must live on. Sheesh. And now Sabo has a huge responsibility on his. Shoulders and it looks like he he's done well. It just it's also weird to see how like unbothered he was about the death of King Cobra, especially when given this responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Like that was kind of weird to see too when he was speaking with the revolutionaries. Vinland Saga is peak. Yes, it is. Thank you for subscribing.
What Venom Saga is peak. What he say? What do I say about what? Well, so soft. Who cares about Cobra? Bro, we care about Cobra, bro. That man was introduced to us a long time ago. And I and, and you know what's crazy? It's not that I really care about Cobra. Um I'm surprised how little this man who probably changed um Sabo's life forever cared about his death. You know what I'm saying? That that's what I'm more interested on. Like it's more about like this this whole thing happened and I felt like almost like nothing. I don't know. It, it was weird. It was weird. Maybe he was so fixed on his plan. That's it. He didn't know him like that, but I'll tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what. If I walked into a if I walked into a something, right? A man I seen somebody kill another man. And he told me the world's biggest secret, right? When I talk about this man, I don't care. I, mind you, I never seen somebody die in front of me, but in that way, and who killed them? Like, I will, I will have a more, I will have a, a different face when I'm talking about him. It didn't take long for the two key stories to spread across the globe. The murder of King Cobra in Alabasta and the disappearance of his daughter, Princess Vivi. The holy land of Mary Joa, the man they call Sabo. The, he seems to have, the man they call Sabo, he seems to have check, a checkered fate. How else can you account for him constantly being surrounded by those who bear the letter D? Oh... Okay. Yes, great emu. So emu's calling in. I was hoping we we would be able to see the egghead issue now, but it seems that dealing with the complication will have to take priority. Pangea Castle Flower Room. The time has come to put Vegapunk's invention to the test. Use the mother fl the mother flame to put Vegapunk's in invention to the test use the mother flame it is true we haven't had the chance to try it out before now so there is no way to ascertain its effectiveness yet okay so this is what destroyed the Lusia kingdom the result of this experiment may affect how we choose to handle the egghead situation I think a forest area would be a more suitable testing ground than a sea based target the Lusia kingdom wow so this this whole thing like I so does this kind of contradict the fact that it was an ancient weapon? This is something that it was created by Vegapunk, whatever they use. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. Quite a lot of people live there. That is of no consequence. Whoa. Understood. The world moves at the will of the creator. What is the reason for Lelouch's selection? I will make necessary preparations. I humbly request your patience in the meantime. Oh wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. I almost for, I almost didn't see this emu panel. It's close proximity. It shall be as you say. I will make necessary preparations. I humbly request your patience in the meantime. Five elder planets. Defense science warrior god Saint J Garcia Saturn. He's the one that's going to egghead right now. So. Defense science warrior god. So these niggas are gods. So that's why he's he's going to C2 Vegapunk. Because I guess it has more to do with science. So and. Somebody said JD Saturn. Huh? Lelouja citizens have shown sparks of rebellion recently. Five elder planets. Environmental warrior god. St. Marcus Mars. Is this the first time that we see like their name in this way? Like, you know, I don't remember. Is this the first time? Okay, this is this is interesting. Environmental warrior god. So do you guys think now nah, these can't be the holy knights, these are gods, right? 
Holy Knights had a, a silhouette of Shanks too. Five Elder Planets, Justice Warrior God, Saint Topman, Valkyrie. We may be able to make an example out of them. If we could you if we could one day use his power freely, five elder planets, finance warrior god, Saint Ethan Baron B Nuzjuro. And we could instantly snuff out any protracted conflict. Five elders planet agriculture warrior god, Saint Shepherd Jupiter. I need to see a a breakdown of what they think these names are, right? And these five elder planets Finance God, Agriculture Warrior God. I can't make out anything from this so far. Valkyrie is Mercury. Okay, Venus. One more thing, of course. Retrieve Vivi as you wish. So Vivi, they're like, one, you got to destroy Cosmixa. Thank you for, uh, for gifting the sub. Okay, so that's so they have completed one of these tasks, right, in destroying the loser. But they haven't retrieved the VV yet. Another question I have at this point too is when we seen Sabo was alive, right, and he he was on the boat with everybody from Lelusia, it's almost as if he as if he knew that they were all gonna attack Lelusia, which is why he prepared everybody. That's some of the theories I've seen going around, right? But it doesn't seem like the case because it seemed like the order was made after Sabo left. And it's after Sabo escaped. Meanwhile, the kingdom of Tajin and the Aegis kingdom are both rebelling. Between disbanding the, okay, we got all oh, we see in Akino too. Meanwhile, the kingdom of Tajin and the Aegis kingdom are both rebelling between the disbanding of the seven warlords. So, this is okay, this is that time period. And the uprising in government affiliated nations, the navy has their hands full. However, deploy the seraphim. Crocodile was spotted on Empty Bluffs Island. That's a Gecko Moria Seraphim? And a Doflamingo Seraphim? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, yo, Doflamingo look like Kiss Next Door, codename Kiss Next Door or some shit, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. And Crocodile, that's crazy. Yeah, I, I really can't tell if Crocodile is a boy or a girl. Yeah, I'm probably reaching on that one. It just looks like a younger Crocodile. To me, um, on Empty Bluffs Island, the, their military power had already gone in a few in a new direction. Wow, this is kind of sick. Why did I not think about more Seraphim? Like I don't know why I didn't come to him, but like Gecko Mario though, boo. But do that Dolphy one is fly though, and that crocodile seraphim. He, I don't know, like the stillness in his face looks kind of dangerous, like to me at least, you know. But that's wild. Yeah, like the second we docked at Lelusia, the people arrested King Seki and Princess Komane. They were just waiting to ambush the royals. Since I was a stowaway, they welcomed me with open arms. That's when I saw the papers and found out that they pinned King Cobra's murder on me. Unsurprisingly, the people there considered me a hero. I wanted to tell them the truth, but when I say how that lie fanned the flames of rebellion within, within them, the words die in my mouth. Betty and the others had already inspired a lot of them, and I ended up bringing many of those hopeful recruits back with me. I couldn't make direct contact without an encryption snail, so I re rerouted my call to the island while we were setting sail. This is crazy. So he didn't want to come out and say that he didn't he, he didn't kill Cobra because it kind of sparked a rebellion in Lelusia, and they welcomed him as a hero because of that. But why did they 
why why would that happen though like why would Sabo killing Cobra I guess because they were against okay so the people of Lelugia were against the kings anyway so the the rulers so okay that may, that kind of makes sense so I re rerouted my call through the island while we were setting sail I knew the government would intercept the signal but doing it like that was sure to fool them into thinking I was still on Lelugia ah however I was just within range having already set out to sea within our new enlistees so the annihilation of Lelugia really did happen during that call yeah, everyone on board was, was hysterical. A lot of them had family on the island. They saw their country obliterated right in front of their eyes. Sheesh. Despicable. How in the world did they do it? So not even Dragon knows what the fuck happened. An enormous, sh an enormous shadow seemed to engulf the sky above us. And the next moment, everything was gone. An enormous shadow? Look at his face. Why he sweating like that? Why he sweating like that? There's no way it was caused by a living thing or some natural disaster. Something pitch black was flying above the clouds. Sabo earlier, you said they used the name Emu. Right. This may be a little out of... A little out there, but... When the world, when the world we know today was created 800 years ago, one of the first 20 sovereigns was Saint Emu of House Narona. Oh shit! Saint Emu. So do you guys think that these, because these are all saint, right? Saint this, saint this. So do you guys think these guys were there? These five guys were there too. They were one of the rulers of the kingdoms. We only see one. All we only seen these guys referred to as saint, right? Hmm. Now look at this. Since we know an ability granting. Eternal youth is said to exist. That must mean someone has used it before, right? Which means there's a person out there that doesn't need to worry about death. So, you think the one I saw is... It could be a coincidence. Maybe they sh just share the same name, but... Could anyone else but a founder command the five elder planets? The highest of the celestial dragons fancy themselves as the descendants of the gods after all. One more thing, Guk. Assuming Guk, the object you saw above the clouds was a weapon made by the government, then the only one capable of creating such a thing could be Vegapunk. Hold it. Hold it, Eva. Hold it! Vegapunk would never intentionally design a dedicated killing machine. I know. So what is the vast... And in, so that if it was an ancient weapon... Assuming Imu has been living since ancient times, there is a connection. Hmm. Robin told us that the ancient weapons do, in fact, exist. But if this person is such a weapon, if this person has such a weapon, why wait till now to use it? I'm trying to think if I could, uh. I'm trying to think if I could, like. Think of why, why wait till now, right? And I, you know, we know Vegapunk is looking for this, like, source, right? This ultimate source of energy. And maybe, like, maybe we knew where this ancient weapon was. We just didn't know how to power it. Perhaps there was a way that Vegapunk found to power this ancient weapon. Although it wasn't unlimited, but there was, like, a small source of it. You know, it wasn't this. It wasn't like this, like the sun, but it was. We can get it to work for a little bit. Present day, the holy land of Marijua, a celestial dragon has just been sentenced to death. What? Our food supply is gone, eh? We have no bread. 
However, this information would never be reported to the outside world. All we have is Keike. The judge was the former king of the land known as what the fuck? He currently serves as the supreme commander of the God Knights. His name is Saint Figurlin Garling. What do I know? Where do I know this last name from? That's Shake's name? What the fuck? <laughs> Tomo, thank you for subscribing. The judge was the so. Hold on, let me read this. Let me read this. My boy is literally shaped like a moon. You guys see that? Like shaped like a moon. His head. Uh, I'll put money. He, he, nah, he can't be a lunarian. Um, but still, it is related. So Shanks is definitely a celestial dragon. Jake Lavelle, thanks for the 500 bits. In film red, the five elders talk about Uda being a figurland. So the speculation is Shanks is a figurland. Hmm. The judge was the former king of the... Let me just reread this part. The present day, the Holy Land of Marriage Royal Celestial Dragon has be, has just been sentenced to death. Our food supply is gone. We had no bread. However, this information would never be reported to the outside world. The judge was a former king of the land known as God Valley. He currently serves as supreme commander of God Knights. His name is St. Frigolin Garling. The man he sentenced to execution, none other than the one who chose to defend fishermen, Saint Don Quixote Majgard. Anyone who protects scum is lower than the scum they protect. A man who can even judge the celestial dragons. Jesus. So they killed my boy though. That's the only good celestial dragon we have, bro. The King of God Valley. And this isn't that where we found Isn't that where we found Shanks? Or am I getting confused? Or where we where we where we suppose they found Shanks? In the treasure chest, yeah. 